In the 17th episode of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the AMD Radeon 6000 graphics card series for notebooks, the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti to have its crypto mining performance limited, MSI announcing the MPG Core Liquid K series CPU coolers, and the AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT graphics card. We start with AMD, which has confirmed that the Radeon RX 6000 series laptop graphics cards are coming soon. The company has announced that their Navi 22 based mobile graphics cards will be available sometime in the future. Scott Heckelman has announced during the announcement weird, of the Radeon RX 6700 XT that AMD is getting ready to launch the RX 6000 series of graphics cards for mobile usage. These graphics cards will be based on the Navi 22, Navi 23 and Navi 24 chips, however their specifications are not yet known, and the same can be said about the official launch date. One of the key factors in this announcement is the idea of the price. It would be useless for AMD to launch a new series of mobile graphics cards if those will be hard to get a hold of, both thanks to an increased price tag and also thanks to low availability. And unfortunately, all we can do now is just wait and see when and in what shape these products will hit the market. We continue with NVIDIA and the RTX 3080 Ti which apparently has its crypto mining performance limited from the factory. And this is done to discourage miners from buying all of the graphics cards. A known leaker which has been right on multiple occasions regarding the launches of various products from NVIDIA has just announced that the RTX 3080 Ti will have a crypto mining limiter installed from the factory. This limiter will apparently be implemented within the firmware of the graphics card which means that at some point someone will develop a way to remove it and thus create a mode to unlock the potential of the graphics cards and of course the market will be going back to square one. The NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti is scheduled to launch in April, however, it is useful to point out that this release date has been changed at least three times already, so nothing is set in stone. Not anymore anyway. How will this crypto mining limiter affect the performance of the graphics card is yet unknown. I hope that it will just affect the crypto mining capacities of the graphics cards and nothing else. And now we have MSI, which has just announced the MSI MPG Core Liquid K360 and MPG Core Liquid K240 Liquid CPU coolers. These coolers are using the patented Acetec design and use the fourth generation of MSI's Torx fan design. One interesting feature found on these CPU coolers is the integration of a small fan above the pump and block assembly. This small fan is meant to provide active cooling to the VRM components of the motherboard, especially since the standard liquid CPU coolers do not generate any airflow around the CPU socket area of the motherboard, thus to the VRM components. A section of the press release also mentions that the CPU coolers also features a 2.4 inch LCD panel capable of displaying a variety of graphics including images and texts. It is also capable of displaying the current hardware status of your system, providing a quick glance at how the system is performing, hopefully this means temperatures. How much these coolers will be worth on the market, we shall see, however their design is not that different from what's on the market right now and it is actually quite good as it does have the RGB thing but without overblowing it. And finally we have AMD and their new Radeon RX 6700 XT, which was announced on March the 3rd this year. This new graphics card uses the new 7 nanometers Navi 22 silicon and has 40 RDNA2 compute units, amounting to 2560 stream processors. In addition to that, the graphics cards also features a maximum game clock frequency of 2424 MHz and a total of 12 GB of GDDR6 memory across a 192-bit wide memory interface. The RX 6700 XT is marketed as a 1040p gaming card and as having a power draw of around 240 watts with a basic power input of two connectors, one 8-pin and one 6-pin. AMD claims that the RX 6700 XT is situated above the RTX 2080 Super in terms of the performance, however in some games the RX 6700 XT can be seen overtaking even the RTX 3070. The MSRP offered by AMD for this graphics card is 479 US dollars, which if we know something for certain is that it will never be at that price, perhaps in 2 to 5 years when the graphics cards will be found on the used market, but perhaps not even then. And this is the end of the episode number 17 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news 
as fast as possible for your convenience.